Neil McAvoy, Assembly Member, South Hill Central, and with Jackie Sala today in, in Cardiff. This is quite a tragic story, but there is some light at the end of the tunnel, and we're trying to find a solution. Jackie, you you lost your children back in 1986. Yeah, that's right. They, yes. they were taken to Yemen by your ex-husband? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, they were taken to Saudi Arabia first. Yeah. And then when they actually traced him to Saudi, he'd already done a, gone again, done a runner. Yeah. Uh, once he reached Yemen, obviously, there okay. was no chance of ever finding him. So you, you had three children, uh, Safiya, Reha Reha Rehana yeah. and Nadia, 18 months Five years of age yes, and, and four. four years of yeah. age. So they, they were taken to Yemen. You didn't see them for, for a long, long time. Um, there was lots of publicity at the time. There's, there's an echo, uh, copy an old echo. There's a picture of children. Um, there they are just before just before they were taken, the two of them. And just after the, the, the Gulf War in 1991, you were reunited, it'd be 15 years later. Yeah, 15 yeah. years later, yeah. Um, we had a letter which was written in Arabic mm. um, from the oldest daughter, Rehana, yeah. and we took it to an interpreter and we realised that she'd actually found me after all these years. Ah, right, and yeah. it was just kept ball roll from there, yeah. basically. I just wanted to go to Yemen to see her. Yeah. Yeah. They advised me not to travel up there because it wasn't a safe country. Yeah, it was a, a war was on then, a, again back then. Yeah. So you, you were searching for your children for years and years and years. Yeah. And your children were searching for you and you, you found each other. Uh, unfortunately, Nadia passed, passed away. Yeah, she passed away in childbirth. Right. Um, yeah. A hospital facilities are not good, no blood or things like that. So yeah. basically it's really hard. You know, it's, not, yeah. it's not like here. It's yeah. a filled world country, so... Yeah. No. But more, more recently, uh, you've been able to get back in touch again with uh, Sophia. Yeah. And you, you're talking on, on through WhatsApp and yeah. so on. And the, the, the issue is, for, for everyone to, to think about in, in the Yemen, is that but where, where Sophia is now, bombs are literally falling around oh. her. People are dying in the area. Terrible. But she is a British citizen. Yeah, she's born here. She's born in Cardiff. Yeah. Um, but the government will help us. Just basically said there's no um, evacuation, you know, mm. available for British citizens out there. Yeah. So basically, this they've washed their hands. Well, I've got a letter here from the the British government, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, and as Jackie just said, it says that in line with Foreign and Commonwealth Office long-standing policy on assistance in Yemen, there are no evacuation procedures in place and the British government is unable to provide any form of assisted departure to British nationals in the Yemen. So you've got your daughter, who is a British citizen, yes. you've located her now, you're in touch, she wants to come back to the yeah. UK, and there's no assistance. No, nothing at all. I mean, we wrote, well, we have quite a few letters from the Foreign Office and all that, mm. saying there's yeah. basically nothing they can do. Yeah. Well... What I'm proposing is that the people in Wales, we found our own solution to this. And um, what we need to do is raise £6,000 to, to get Safiya and her children out of the Yemen, over to Egypt. Once they're in Egypt, the plan will be to bring them back to, to the UK. She is a British citizen. She should have a British passport. But there are issues there in actually obtaining the passport. We can, we can cross that bridge yeah. when we come to it. I think the... The important thing for me is that we, we get them out, yeah. we get them to a safe place in, in Egypt, yeah. and then we try and get them back to the UK. Yeah, because once they're in Egypt, they're, it's a lot safer for them to be there than actually be in Yemen, mm. you know, because she's so desperate to get out of the situation, yeah. and then she's crying to me on the phone saying, it's, it's so bad out there now, but, you know, the area they're in is being bombed mm. night and day, so... Yeah, so and you said there's... You're sending money over for food and, yeah. and water as well. Yeah, food, water, medicine. Yeah. Because the kid, all the children have been ill. They've had typhoid, and yeah. so and she's been ill herself. So yeah. that, you know, she needs to get up to that situation. Yeah. And get somewhere where she's going to be safe. Yeah. So uh, as a plan going forward, we're trying to get as much publicity yeah. as possible. We we can put some fundraisers in place. We've got a price on flights. Okay. We we know how much it will cost. So the plan is we, we raise six thousand pounds yes uh, from people here and we, we try and get them back yeah yeah that'd be fantastic you know it's 
so everybody could take notice what is actually going on in the heaven as yeah, well. I, know, yeah, I think it's just yeah. a forgotten war. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm raising it in the assembly. But, yeah. but even you, it's very difficult for me because they, the presiding officer won't let me ask questions. Mm. It's, uh, it's it's appalling, really. But but the, the message out there for everyone is we want to do something positive for Jackie and her family and her daughter Sophia, who is an Ely girl. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. She's an Ely girl. Cardiff yeah. girl, born in Ely, yeah. and we want to bring you back. Okay? So please give as much as you can. Okay? Oh, thank you Thanks. very much. Okay. That's excellent. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.